will fall in the next stop. Oh, it's infuriating. Finally, I had to say something. I'm like, hey, if I have to sit here and listen to your dumb conversation, how in the hell am I supposed to come? <laughs> My break's almost over. I'm trying to concentrate. Will you please shut the hell up or say something sexy? <laughs> so which they reply, will you please leave the ladies' room? <laughs> You're barely holding on to my day job, y'all. I got in a lot of trouble because I said nice tits to a coworker. But like I said to the boss, listen, that is not sexual harassment because I said it sarcastically. <laughs> I sent it to a male co-worker because he was wearing a white dress shirt without anything on underneath it. I would never say nice tits to a female co-worker so she could hear it. I said softly to myself, like a gentleman. I've been there a lot of years, and then I come in one day, and they inform me that I'm moving. I'm moving our department. They're just changing things around. And the desk I've sat at more than 20, 20 years, I'm moving. And I said, I don't get any say in the matter. You're just making decisions about where I'm gonna sit, and I don't get any input. Nobody cares how I feel about it. Like, I feel like such a pawn. And the boss said, that's ridiculous, you're not a pawn. You're a knight, because we moved you one up and two up. <laughs> right next to a fucking chatterbox, man. She doesn't shut up. I don't know how much more of it I can take. Just constantly talking, and way too much personal information. Because I know before she went on vacation, she got waxed completely. And another girl said, oh, I got the Brazilian. I don't need that information. It's going to get me into trouble later. So um, we have a department. You know, we have a, a program in a department. It's called the shadowing program. That's when you sit with another department for a couple hours. They explain to you what they do in their job. And then um, they might give you a task or two to do. And then at the end of the two-hour session, uh, you get a five-question quiz. And if you pass the quiz, you get a sticker. If you collect seven stickers, you know what you get? A jeans day! Oh boy! Fuck! I don't care about a jeans day because I'm a grown up! What I care about is wasting what precious time I have left on this planet listening to people drone on and on about their jobs for 14 hours so I can have one day of denim. Last year I gave $20 to the American Heart Association, they gave me 10 jeans days! So I'll just use one of those jeans days. So I came in, I was wearing jeans! I hand it to the boss, he goes, um, yeah, you have to get permission in advance to wear those jeans. You just can't show up in jeans. I'm gonna have to ask you to go home and change. I'm like, well, if I go home and change, I'm not coming back. It's jeans day is gonna turn to a sick day. He's like, are you sick? I'm like, yeah, I'm sick. I'm sick of you, I'm sick of them, I'm sick of Levi fucking Strauss. And if I don't leave right away, I'm afraid I'll become violently ill. And he's like, see you tomorrow. And guess what? Tomorrow's casual Friday. You can wear your jeans. <laughs> Next day I showed up in a suit because fuck your jeans. <laughs> and then everybody saw me like, oh, somebody's got a job interview. I wish. <laughs> it's just crazy with the jeans days. It's ridiculous, man. So, um, you know, and then the funny thing is you're wearing jeans, you can't wear tennis shoes. You have to wear a hard sole shoe. I have to wear a hard sole shoe with jeans, and the female co-workers, they wear sandals and fucking flip-flops. I don't think that's fair. I don't care. I don't care that they're wearing sandals and flip-flops. But don't complain that you're cold. Turn down the air conditioning. Turn up the heat. I'm cold. Bitch, you barefooting. Put some shoes and socks on. Like, I wore shoes and socks yesterday. I was still cold. That's because you got no hair on your vagina. God put that there for a reason. To keep you warm. That's why it's called a muff. Why should we have to suffer because you wax your teeth a lot? It's not fair. It's not fair. I know that joke is kind of misogynist, but hey, you can't spell misogyny without G-Y-N. That's my time. Thank you very much. You guys have been great. Thank you. Will Krolowitz, everybody. Let's go for your next meeting. Come to the stage. Josh.